Welcome to Race Control Episode 10. Today we'll be talking about another series that will be available to you in Project Cars, the Renault Clio Cup. The car is a 220 horsepower turbocharged front wheel drive hatchback with slick tyres and racing suspension. Though it may look like the bastard son of a taxi cab and a penguin, its performance can put a few premium supercars to shame. When racing, you can use the car's natural instability to pitch the car into the corner on entry, carrying more speed and lining up early for the exit. Don't take this too far however, as it's easy to fling the car in and find out you've bitten off more than you can chew. Due to the car's front wheel drive nature, you should make sure to be as straight as possible when accelerating, especially in higher revs when the engine has more torque. This is to avoid understeer, though you can scrub the tyres to get a bit more turning power on exit, at the expense of speed and tyre wear. Although there's not really much you can do to avoid understeer on the power, you can increase or decrease the lift oversteer to your liking with the mechanical setup. Ideally, you want to be able to keep the car in a small slip angle through the entry of each corner. This means you'll need more lift oversteer on tighter circuits, with a more tame approach for tracks with fast sweeping corners. In terms of suspension, you don't need to worry about stability on the power, so your main concern should be a lack of control on entry. Soften the front suspension for bumpy circuits and increase the speed of the fast rebound dampers. As these cars are essentially junior touring cars, the rules of racing are a little different. You'll be pushed around a lot, so expect to give as much as you get. Cover that inside line and have a plan in case you bumps off. You can use this to your advantage as well. When an opponent comes up on the inside, act as if you're on the normal racing line and then cut to the inside as you brake, closing the door and surprising your opponent into slowing down. Don't hit them as you cut across however, the contact combined with the instability can prove disastrous for all involved. Only do it if they're far enough behind. They may tap you as you turn in, but this is to be expected with the different braking points and lines involved. Hold your line as best you can and stay as smooth as possible on the exit. That's all for Race Control Episode 10. Suggestions are welcome and as always, thanks for watching.